Hello everyone, I am Antonio Nardella, Community Manager of the IOTA Foundation. Today, we're going to have a look at how to generate open SSH keys on Windows. We're going to use this public-private key pair to uh, connect securely over a secure shell to our servers that might host um, IOTA nodes like Hornet, GoShimmer or B. It is necessary to have at least some security measures in place when you manage a Linux server, also if you manage a Windows server, and to have a possibility to connect securely to these machines. So let's see how this looks like. Good. Before we do it ourselves, let's have a look at the walkthrough. We're going to navigate with our browser to putty.org. Uh, this is the page for our SSH client for the Windows platform. And we will click on the here text to be forwarded to the download page. On this page, we're going to download the PuTTY version for our um, Windows platform. So the 32 or 64 bit version. For me, it's going to be the 64 bit version. Then we're going to scroll down and find all the tools with also the puttygen.exe. This is the putty key generator that we are going to use to generate our public and private key pair. Now let's have a look at the key generation. This is the putty key generator. We will select the uh, ED25519 key type. There will be two links in the description that explain why this is a good choice for a SSH key pair. Then we're going to click on generate and move the mouse over this blank area to uh, generate some randomness for our keys. And we will be presented with the public key in the open SSH format. This is the key that we are going to use in our uh, connection to the server. We are going also to choose a passphrase to keep our private key secure. Make sure to choose a safe password to keep your key secure and also to avoid uh, malicious actors from using your private keys. After that, we're going to save it on our file system. That's everything for the key generation. Now let's have a look at how this is done. All right, let's go through the steps. So we'll navigate to putty.org. We will be presented with this pretty simple page. We are going to click on here. Here I'm going to download the PuTTY version for 64-bit Windows. That's my Windows version. And then I'm going to scroll down to find puttygen.exe for 64-bit. Let's save this too. Downloaded both tools. So let's start with Putigen. I'm going to run this. Here I'm going to select the ED25519 key type. Uh, there are links in the description that uh, describe why it is a good idea to use this kind of key. Then I'm going to click here on Generate. Um, as it asks me to move the mouse here over the blank area, you see the bar growing and here we are. This is the open SSH uh, key that we are going to use with certain um, VPS providers or our um, Linux, GNU Linux installation. Let's copy this one. This we are going to need it. And then open the notepad and paste it right here. And now we're going to save this. So let's type save. Let's go to our documents and save this as a public key. So it's going to be um, id25519 dot pub dot txt. So this is the public key that you can share with your machines. Good. Let's go back to Putigen. Here in the key passphrase, we're going to type a very secure password. Uh, this is uh, necessary to protect your private key from third parties should you share them on some cloud services or something uh, or um, have them somewhere exposed. It's a good idea to protect it at least with a password. Uh, 
So let's save this private key right here. It's going to be ID 25519 um, priv so that I know that this is my private key. And let's save this too. And here we are. This is done. While we are at it, let us verify that we have done everything correctly. So we're going to open the Explorer, navigate to the um, Documents folder, and here are my two freshly created files. One is the pub file. This is the public key that I can share. And the other one is the private key that is password protected. Uh, for my security, I'm going to save this in my personal cloud. This is a private cloud, so I know that everything stays uh, in my control. You can share this with other um, cloud tools or save it on external hard drive. Uh, just make sure to use a very secure password. While we're here, let's go to downloads and install Putty. So let's click on run. Next. Let's leave that path. Let's leave everything as it is. Click on install, authorize the installation and click on finish. And that's it. And now we will have Putty installed and ready to be used. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show how to use Putty with your public and private key. Have a good one and see you next time. Bye.